सपोज आई हैव दिस एल्डी हाइट एंड देन आई एडेड वन इलाइड ऑफ सल्फर ऑफ फोस्फोरस सॉरी वन इलाइड ऑफ फोस्फोरस हेयर लाइक दिस विच इज दिस रिएक्शन हा do you know this reaction? On A, I added HCl. I got B on B. If I add alcoholic KOH, I get C. On C, if I add ozone along with zinc, I get D. All right. And on D. If I add a base along with iodine, I two, and then I protonate it, I get E. Okay, so identify A, B, C, D, and E. Okay, uh, let me increase this chain a little bit. From D, if you add F on D. then you get c look at the arrow properly on adding f on d you get c find so find a b c d e and f okay if i add any of it on this i get g then find a b c d e f and g i am not going to increase it anymore don't worry find a b c d e and f and g so work it out yourself these are the reactions that we have studied recently very recently so you must be able to work it out and you will enjoy this conversion problem so uh work it out and then listen any further my dear friend okay so let's start this start the discussion hoping that you have done it on your own first you have to find a this uh you can find g as well but first uh let's go in this pathway I'm going to find A. Which reaction is this? This reaction is Wittig reaction. You have taken a carbonyl compound and you have taken a elide of phosphorus. This is a Wittig reaction. How do you write the product of Wittig reaction? We break it like this. We break it like this and merge this carbon and this carbon together. So how A will look like? A should look like something like this. Right. This is what A should look like. What are you doing on A? You are adding HCl. What is this reaction? This reaction is the reaction that we have studied in the chapter of hydrocarbon. When we studied alkene, we studied the reactions of alkene. We studied addition reaction, and this is one kind of addition reaction of HCl. Do you remember? HCl gets added on alkene. H. Uh, now this addition will be as per Markovnikov addition. H will add on this carbon. How will that happen? This HCl is going to come like this. This H is going to ask for electron. This bond formation will be there. This chlorine comes out as Cl minus and a plus charge on this carbon. Now this car, this carbocation is not the most stable carbocation. So there will be migration. One methyl will shift from this carbon to this carbon. Then this plus charge will come on this carbon, and that will be the tertiary carbon, more stable carbocation. So after migration, what's going to happen? Plus charge is going to come here, like this, and this Cl minus is going to attack this. So this will be B. What was A? This was A. Fine. So this is your A, and this is how you got B. Any trouble? This is B. Then you are moving on to C, and you are adding alcoholic KOH. We had this discussion. Alcoholic KOH is a base. aqueous koh is a nucleophile so a base abstracts hydrogen it carry out elimination reaction so alcoholic koh is going to abstract hydrogen from this position and you're going to get a alkene oh this methyl has transferred here right so there is a methyl here okay all right fine fine It's fine So this methyl is going to come on this carbon. So this carbon is going to have two methyl from one from this, one from this. So this is what it is. All right. So uh, 
uh huh fine so this is b and then uh, you will carry out alcoholic koh on this there will be elimination reaction now this chlorine has to come out so base can abstract a hydrogen from here form a alkene here but that will not be the most stable alkene because extent of hyperconjugation will be less fine we have we have solved this kind of problem when we studied elimination in the chapter of hydrocarbon so base is going to abstract this hydrogen because when this hydrogen is abstracted a more stable alkene will be formed that will have 12 hyper conjugating structures so this is one which should be the most stable alkene and this is c fine a b c no trouble on c you're doing ozonolysis so uh, do ozonolysis break it like this adds oxygen to both the carbons and you are going to get acetone from both the sides both the product will be the same that's fine only one product has been shown here so what will be d d will be acetone no trouble in identifying that right this is d now what is e from d to e you are carrying out a reaction that is called as haloform reaction in haloform reaction what happens is uh, this methyl group is going to come out as iodoform because I have taken iodine here and this part is going to be after protonation turn into a carboxylic acid we studied this we practiced this problem in haloform reaction in method of in reactions of aldehydes and ketones so this is D E will be because there will be two products one will be iodoform one will be will be acetic acid from here i have shown only e so you will take the major organic product so e will be reported as acetic acid this is what e is fine you will not report e as iodoform you will report e as the major organic product e is acetic acid fine so we have identified a b c d and e fair enough then from d to we are going to c uh, by adding f look which is d uh, this is d right d is acetone from d you are going to go to c so you're adding f now you tell me how you're going to do this from d you are going to c so it looks like there is one acetone and one acetone has been added so which reaction would be this this c double bond o is going to vanish vanish and c double bond o is going to turn into c double bond c which reaction have we studied in which c double bond o turns into c double bond c in one step because this, this has been shown in one step so you have to who oh, 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 oh. the last reaction right Wittig reaction does that this reaction now Wittig reaction does that so you have to take a proper elide of phosphorus because one part is going to come from the substrate you are taking so this part is going to come from D and this part is going to turn from elide of phosphorus so you have to take elide of phosphorus properly so that from on D you are getting C so if you take elide of phosphorus to be this so you have a acetone part here you have an acetone part in d when both will merge you will get c fine so this is what must be f this is f fine so we have identified all of them except for g and to write what is g we have to rub what is a b c d e and f fine so your answers matches congratulations